we're um, taking a long trip down to Atlanta to see our nephew's high school graduation. And then we turn around and head back up to Chicago to pick up our son who's uh, coming back home from Spain. Um, so I didn't start uh, uh, filming when we started the trip because we were rushing around trying to get everything into the car and, um, and get going. But uh, we're about three hours into our drive for tonight. Uh, we're in Lexington, Kentucky. So we're heading, I think, Knoxville. Tennessee tonight, something like that. So, you'd, ha you'd have to ask Google Maps where I'm at it tonight. So, so has it been a three-hour tour? It has been a three-hour tour, and you know we may <laughs> never be found again. So who knows? Really <laughs> so we stopped here at Starbucks. Starbucks for a little coffee, a little bathroom break, a little stretch and uh, get back on the road and go another two and a half hours to a hotel and then we'll make the last half, like four hours or so to Atlanta tomorrow morning. See ya. So we've been on the road for three hours, Shell. Three hour tour? Yeah, it's a three hour tour. Huh. So sit by, back and you hear a tale. Huh. A tale of a fateful trip. Oh my. It started from this tropic port. Oh really, aboard this tiny ship? Aboard right this here? tiny ship. Huh. You know, the mate was a mighty sailor man. The skipper, brave and sure. <laughs> if not for the courage of the fearless crew, uh, the minnow could be lost. The minnow could be lost. Oh, dear. You know, the ship sat drowned on the shore of this uncharted <laughs> desert isle. I think you skipped a part. How about the weather? Oh, it yeah, the weather. Yes, the weather yeah. started getting rough. Yeah. <laughs> the tiny ship was tossed. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. Oh, the minnow would be lost? The minnow would be lost. Aww. The ship set ground. set ground on the shore of this Was it charted? uncharted desert isle. Oh, darn. With Shallow. Gilligan, oh, skipper the skipper too. too, the millionaire, and his wife, the movie star. And the the professor and <laughs> gotta give them credit. Oh, Come on. Oh, okay. You know they were all here on, on Gilligan's, Gilligan's Island. Island. <laughs> wow. Go figure. Go figure. Oh, and by the way, this is my lovely wife, Michelle. Hi. Also known as Shell. Hi. You know we're not going east, but we're going south. But no. we're southbound to down, loaded oh, up and trucking. Truckin'. We're gonna do what, what they say can't, can't be done. done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. We're southbound. Watch old bandit run. I wasn't sure where we were going with that one. <laughs> so, how many snacks do you have, Shell? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. I don't, what exactly are you getting at? What's your point here? My point is, is every time we go on a road trip, mm -hmm. At least one fourth of our luggage <laughs> is snacks. I can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> I have no recollection of that. And then we have to buy some more. Get around the slow people. We have to have fresh. You got to buy some more on the way. I, I, I have. <laughs> like I, I, every time we stop for something. I have no response. Like gas. To that. I have no response to that. Bathrooms. Got to get more snacks. I have no response to that. You got, you, I have no response to that. So, so what do you got in your hands now? I got a yummy. Taylor's Bakery. A yummy from Taylor's Bakery, yes. And we picked up uh, Seth's graduation cake. I said, hey, you know what? I can't cut into that for a couple days. So, yes, I can. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what's, What'd you get? Well, let's see what's in this yummy little package of delightlessness. Oh, looky here. Oh, it is a pedophore, although not a real true pedophore. It's just a petite cake, which means small cake. Pedophore actually has layers of... Probably four. Well, could be. However, or there could just be four cakes with layers. <laughs> four small cakes? That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, I don't know that I've ever had a pedophore with four layers. It's usually five. If you want to count two layers of cake and two layers of frosting, or I mean three layers of cake and two layers of frosting, and the thing that was top, that'd actually be fine. Oh, well, okay then. So I've never actually had a real pedophore. But if it was French, but 
petit is petite. petite is small, right. Right? right? But four is un, deux, trois, quatre, right? It's not a four, yeah. So. I don't know. You know, I'm going to have to check with Google on this. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. More than we ever wanted to know about I doubt that. I see. I don't think so. Because if it was more than everyone know, you know what the hell four meant. <laughs> All right. Right? All right, so Shell looked up, she Googled uh, Pettifor. I did. What does it mean? It means small oven. It Pettifor is French for small, small oven. It is. So that they cook those little bitty things in, in a, a tiny, tiny oven? In a tiny oven. Wow, that's In a really tiny cool. oven. Yes, they do, Brian. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the French were very small way back when. <laughs> they were not a big people. <laughs> Need a tiny oven. Need a bitty. Tiny ovens on the hills. Oh, and sorry. they all look just the same. And they all look just the same. <laughs> well, see, now you learned some French uh, yes, and yes. a little bit. Here, lean in so you can see. Oh, see I'm sorry. Hi. So you can be seen. So we learned a little French. We pet a four. Yes. A small oven. Yes, it does. We learned that it's a type of pastry. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it was. It is a small confectionery uh, that it could actually be savory or confectionery, which means either sweet or savory. Oh. So it could actually not not necessarily be. So it could be like a meat pie. It could be a meat pie. Tiny. Also meat pie. tiny. A little bacon. <laughs> Cooked in a little oven. Okay. Cool. <laughs> tiny. So you learned some like, French, you learned some pastries. It's almost like a regular. The only French we, I knew before was, uh, you know. Yes. I didn't know much French. Oh, well, there you go. Even though I took it in high school. Do you not know much about French you took? Don't know much about the French I took. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, you there's uh, the Michel, oh, okay. my belle, son des mon qui vont très bien ensemble, très bien ensemble. Well, it's like a language lesson. It is. Yeah, it just so. could be the theme of this trip. The language lessons. The languages of Shaw and Ryan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what, on the way back, we'll figure out some Spanish. We'll figure we'll out some have Spanish. Nation. Some Spanish. Cause some he's Spanish, because he's Spain. coming from Spain. Yeah, and I wonder if he's learned any Irelandish. Irelandish, Scottish. Scottish. <laughs> or maybe even some English. English? Yes, because he's coming from England. As England? Well. Londonish, maybe. Cool. I know, right? And we have a world travel. Time. But we're headed down to Atlanta, so we're oh, going to learn yeah. all kind of stuff. Southernish. <laughs> we're going to learn all kinds of crazy language. Y'all. Alrighty. Well, y'all come back, man. Go Google says. South for 138 miles. Okay. Google says we got another two hours left on our tour tonight. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and remember, have fun in your travels. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos on a regular basis.